Hello, I am First Pilots, and last time around on Let's Play Pillars of Eternity, hmm. we killed a goddamn sure. dragon called Kale the Silent or something like that. What was his face? I forgot. And we picked up the thing for the quest yeah. that sure. we got from the Priestess of Magrin. And then Duran said something to say about it, and then we had a good, fun time. That's all I'm going to say about it. Also, we unlocked like some weird-ass quest in our stronghold or something. Yeah, see? Uh, we collected some tax and minor adventure added. I don't know what that means. Let's assign it to <laughs> let's assign it to a lot. A lot. Do some do some good stuff for us, buddy. Okay, let's go into looting mode. Shh. Yeah, I feel like there should be something in here. I may be wrong, but dragons are meant to have riches. Let's take a look at rippling waves of heat rise. Oh. Glanfathen Stalking Boots. Sneak attack bonus. Does 1.1x damage to flanked targets. It's alright. <laughs> I suppose we can equip it on... On Sharknado. What is this? Scroll of Confusion? Not really too interested in that. I will take it, of course. But uh, why can't you pick up shit? Oh, why do you have all this crap in your inventory? Again? Aider, you're not supposed to. Whatever. We'll deal with it later. Sharknado is already wearing boots. Fulvano's boots of constitution. Ader is not wearing boots. I will give Ader the boots of constitution. And I will give Sharknado the boots of flank damage because she is more likely to be the off tank and therefore is more likely to do the flanking. That's my thinking anyways. Although, wait, is it just melee damage to flank targets? Because if, if not then we don't need to make that kind of compromise. We just give these boots to Sharknado. We give these to, like, Dingle Bingle or uh, Kana. Yeah, we'll just give them to Kana. And we should be fine. Right, our characters are level 6. All of them. Well, we have a couple of level 5s, but that's fine. So, let's open hey. this up. Wait, be careful. We don't want to hurt ourselves here. What's this? Yeah, that's what I thought. You cannot disarm the trap. What the heck is this nonsense? Are you sure? Oh, no. <laughs> it's a little bit bad. Okay, let's take a look and see if there's any other loot in this map. Maybe there might be. You know? I feel like there should be. Can't just be like two things, right? That doesn't make any sense. There should be like a billion pieces of loot and they should give me like they should make me the president of the United States of America for being able to slay this dragon. I'm just going to be honest with you. That's what I actually believe. Okay, we're going to trigger this trap using On your word. Kana. My friend, Kana, you're a cool guy. You have a lot of health. Right? Some of our other characters don't have quite so much health. I feel like you are able to trigger the trap. Please help me here. Oh my god. That what the heck happened? Sunlance. Good. Sunlance hit Kana for 389 piercing damage. Holy shit. That's insane. And it's like barely anything in it. There's like Ta Andra Tara. It's worth 250 CP. And like some gold. What a ripoff. This is like the worst dragon ever. Man, I remember freaking that dude in Baldur's Gate in the Paladin quest. Or in Baldur's Gate 2 in the Paladin quest. He had like that sweet ass Holy Avenger sword. This guy has like nothing of the sort. I'm like vaguely walking around in like stealth mode hoping that maybe I missed something the first time around. And now... If I keep on walking in stealth mode, maybe I'll uncover it. But that really sucks. Like, maybe I need to, like, go in here. There needs to be, like, a thing. There, I refuse to believe that there's no, like, sweet-ass dragon armor or something like that. Come on, game. Come on, don't do this to me. Did I explore the entire map? I did. What about here? Like, this is a... There's a shrine. It's a shrine, right? No? All right, fine. Come on. That that kind of sucks. <laughs> oh well. 
I guess, I guess we can't help it. I might speed this part up as I edit because I'm... How can, how is there not a thing? That sucks. I'm actually very disappointed about this dragon fight. You know, I thought it was going to be like sweet ass, get like a shitload of awesome gear, but no, we just killed a dragon. Of course, that's, I guess, suppose that's a reward in and of itself, being able to slaughter a dragon, but I am a little bit, a little bit disappointed that we were not able to actually, you know, get, get some sweet ass armor, because I would have loved to get some. Hey, Sagani leveled up though, that's pretty cool. Also, she has that sweet ass pimp hat, so, you know, I, I can't be too, I can't be too salty about that. Her survival is so high. <laughs> it's so useless. <laughs> oh, man. We'll give you some athletics, Sigani. Be a little bit more athletic. Vicious companion. Um, what? Causing it to deal more damage. Self, 1.15x more damage. Is that just the companion? Because it says self. That, that means, like, you also deal more damage with your bow? Accurate wounding shot. That's... Whatever. Resilient Companion, I think, is probably better. Merciless Companion is simply a, a straight-up better version of Vicious Companion. Oh, Animal Companions do small amount of sneak attack damage against targets that qualify. See, I don't understand, because it says this in the description, but then here it just says straight-up self 1.3x damage, which sounds a lot better than this description. So I don't know what to believe. I think I'm just going to go for Resilient Companion. And maybe we can use Itumak to be a bit of a tank. I don't know, but seems adequate. All right, let's let's leave. We don't need the stealth anymore. Pick up some burned ladies, though. Uh, I guess we can't leave on this side. Whatever, we'll go. We'll go leave on the other side. That's fine. It's just fine. And uh, we were also asked to do one other task, I think, from. Yeah, Parable of Whale. So the stolen scroll and the abandoned farm on the path to Durford. Which, you know what? We might as well just do that and then go like this. I guess I think it should be in the wood end plains here. It'll be fine. We're not we're not worried about taking damage from the enemy or anything, right? We're so powerful. There's no nothing that can hurt us. We just killed a dragon, guys. We just killed a freaking dragon. I feel very powerful, and uh, you should feel very powerful too. Also, it appears that we have already explored this map, so <laughs> I am a bit of a goofus. All right, well, we'll go off to the side here. And we should probably have an exit to the side that we can use to take and then go to the next map over. Unless there's a house on this map, which there is not. Well, actually, there is a house. There's a house right there. Although that's a destroyed house. And it doesn't appear to have a door in it, so we are going to go off to the side here. Stormwall Gorge. I don't know if that's the right place, but I'm headed there, so <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. That's, that's some of the troubles of having an open world game. You don't know where you're supposed to go, but one of the nice things about having an open world game is it doesn't matter where you're supposed to go, because you can go wherever you want to go. So technically, wherever you want to go is where you're supposed to go. You dig? Do you understand what I am saying? Do you know what I mean, son? Okay, let's go. I really like exploring with the Dion. Like, helps you go a little bit more quickly. Although, you should probably be like stealthy Ds here. Alright, get some Orland's Cradle. That's a new one. Whoa, 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 what the heck is this shit? Please don't be trapped. Please don't be trapped. The bright sun casts its light on a pattern in the ground. You kneel to get a better look. The stone here has been carved with a few simple shapes. A small circular indentation marks the center, and a much larger circle surrounds it. You, you see what appears to be writing above the two circles. Let's look at the circular indentation. The indentation is, swallow, is shallow and smooth. It looks like it was intended to hold something specific. Look at... Examine the outer circle. Several shapes have been carved along the outer ring. Though most have been worn away, you can still make out a crescent above the center. Examine the writing. 
The characters are completely foreign to you, no doubt the remnants of some long-forgotten language. Wait a while. You wait a few hours, mark marking the sun's journey across the sky. We'll get the circular indentation. Same thing. Examine the outer circle. Same thing. Examine the writing. Same thing. Let's leave. Because I don't want to spend the entire day waiting here. It uh, looks pretty scary. Looks different from what I'm used to. What is this? this is this like a dungeon or something? Ah, uh, there appears to be a Pugra here. I don't like these Pugras, man. They just have like such high damage resistance. Although, we just leveled up, so I'm feeling pretty strong in our ability to actually kill these Pugras. Yeah, get mm. fucked. Okay, don't block off Kevin Durant, please. He's kind of like a very vital member of the team. All right, everybody, forward. Okay, everybody, attack this Pugra. Kevin Durant. Oh, you're not... Okay, you know what actually you can do? You can do something like, uh, something like this over here. Help out our defensive units a little bit. Yeah! Or not, or don't do it, because I guess you're too lazy or something. Use Iconic Projection, at least. Alright, good. And, Dingle Bingle, make yourself a little bit more useful. Do a little bit of, uh, do a little bit of these bad boys right here. Freeze this Pugra. Did somebody die? Sharknado is dead. Good shot with this. Which is a little bit of a shame, but, you know, it's fine. She'll be fine. She has plenty of HP left. Alive wood. Or awakened wood. Come on, Sharknado, don't be like yeah. that. We, yeah. di we didn't let you die on purpose. Like, that was kind of your fault, too. So let's be honest. Alright. Who is this? The cutest cat. Aw, oh, it's cute. What a cute cat. Okay, let's go up. Let's go up. What the heck is this? Feral Druid. Alright, we'll fight this Feral Druid. Ah, uh, that's a lot of Feral Druids. I'm guessing not all of them are Druids, but you get the idea. Why don't you use some of this uh, sweet-ass abilities? Don't walk directly into the lightning bolt, please, my friend. It's probably not the best idea in the world. Yes? All things considered. However, you know what is a sweet-ass idea? Using a freezing spell. This Feral Druid just, like, keeps on goddamn sparking us with his freaking lightning. Oh, I think it's like one of those storm abilities, so that was kind of my fault for like standing directly in the middle of it, but you know, I'm sure. gonna blame the game for everything. Wow, that is a sweet ass looking armor, man. Holy shit. Why do they have such good equipment? That's this is gonna sell for a lot of money. I'm happy about that. And we got a lot of money, huh? Man, I should kill feral druids more often. They're loaded. Holy shit. My eyes are peeled. Is there anything I'm missing? I feel like maybe this lion carcass here is lootable. It is. It doesn't have anything on it. Hey, it has elder lion fang. That's pretty cool. I like how Pillars of Eternity has lions in it. And also the lions are like less terrifying than bears. Okay, we're doing, we're doing all right. You know, I can't really complain about uh, the way things have gone so far. This deer is the... Uh, Deer's chilling with us right now. Pretty happy to be here. I'm pretty happy to have it here. You know, all, all, all nice things. Who is this guy? Hiriavis. What's up, Hiriavis? It's Hiriavis. He's on the map. Is he a companion, maybe? Chewing on a piece of uncooked meat, a small orlin dressed in tattered leathers offers a mumbled greeting and waves his hand. Despite his pleasant smile, the upper right portion of his face is in a sorry state. An eye patch stitched with stylized eyeball wraps around his head, and his ear is a mangled remnant that twitches and spasms, while the other ear pricks up at your approach. Next to him is the split carcass of a deer that appears ripped open by a bear or wolf. You hear gurgling and rumble next to you. Sagani places a hand on her stomach. Her eyes are on the carcass, still fresh. You two mock pink tongue lolls out of his mouth. Wow, seriously? If this is your deer, you need a new game warden. Name's Heravius. Hungry? I can't eat all this. First catch of the day, help yourself. What killed that deer? 
<laughs> one ornery Stelgar. Though looking at the deer's insides, it had a malformed but delicious heart, and would have been dead within the year regardless. Galloway chose a fitting end for this fine animal. Pardon me, I shouldn't pray with my mouth full. <laughs> what the heck? Tell me about Galloway. Lord of the hunt, patron of all seekers. I'm the wrong person to ask. As a child, I would worship Galloway in hopes of being a great hunter. But I have since come to know Wal, he who sees and is not seen. Tell me about Wal. Wal is the god of mystery and obfuscation. Wal does little to intervene, dictate, or limit our actions. But nor does he make himself easily known. I would say I contemplate Wal more than I follow or serve him. This guy is very much a companion, and I'm thinking... I'm thinking I might have him replace Sigani, because she's alright. Don't get me wrong, and I did buy her that exceptional quality bow, but... I'm not, like, I feel like the three melee fighters formation is not the greatest. I feel like two is probably better. So we'll try it out. Other than the delicious venison, new trees to document, new animals to sketch, new sights to be seen. I've learned as much as I can from the druids of my circle. I'd rather wander and learn than take root and stagnate. So if you're traveling the Deerwood and need another set of hands, I'd welcome the safety of a group. And he's a druid, which is great, because then he can shapeshift into a bear if we do need three guys. Well, I don't know if he actually shapeshifts into a bear. Whatever he shapes in, into it, it'll be fine. A druid's assistance would be welcome. I'm trained by the celebrants of Hawk and Ivy of the Fisher Crane tribe. I know more than my share of nature magic. And, well, I don't shy away from a good fight. That's good. We need a spellcaster, too. I have business with the druids that live near Twin Elms. So long as we find ourselves there eventually, I'm happy to follow along. I want you to join us and Spending, turn into a bear. It'll be an honor to run with a pack for a change. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Sagani, I like you. You're a pretty nice person, but we're going to replace you with Hiravias instead. Let's, let's check out this guy's equipment here. First of all, you need to be better equipped, my friend. What is this, like, fine spear? Like, you're not going to be fighting with a spear, man. A fine wand, that's not good. But where's, where's our crossbows and shit? We don't have any. That's disappointing, to say the least. But that's okay, you can deal wield spears, right? <laughs> Alright, you're a 6th level druid, you can do, um... Wow, you have a lot of spells? That's crazy. You can shape shift into a Stalegar. Stelgar. I don't know what that means, but that seems pretty sweet. Look, it'll be fine. What are, what are your actual talents? Yeah, bonus first level spell, weapon focused peasant. Why is everybody focused on goddamn peasant weapons? They're not good, man. You should focus on non-peasant weaponry. Scion of Flame. Okay, he's going to be doing fire damage. That's good. Weapon Focus Peasant is like the worst shit. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, but you know what? I'll give you this spear. Then you can stab people in the face. Regular hunting bows are not good. <laughs> so I don't necessarily like this character very much, but it's fine. I really do wish we had a better bow to give him, but... I guess I'll give him a hunting bow for now. Well, his staff might actually be better. What is this? No, oh, he's got peasant focus weaponry, though. So, this still does 11 to 18. This does 12 to 18. So, this is slightly better. So, you can use that. Ready. Or dual wheel. Oh, turn into a goddamn fucking lion. Yeah, no problem. I want to fight some enemies so that I can turn this guy into a lion. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. This seems pretty freaking sweet. I always like the idea that druids can, like, shapeshift. I thought that was pretty cool. So, but I never played a druid in any of the Infinity Engine games. I don't think I had a lot of druids in my party, because they were kind of inferior healers to clerics, but, you know, I can... Yeah! Okay, let's go. Ready. Turn into a goddamn lion. Turn into a lion! Turn into... Oh, it's combat only, okay. Understood. Turn into a lion. Yeah! Fuck his shit up, man. Oh, yeah. He didn't actually hit him. 
Did he? Yeah, he missed. Yeah, he missed. God damn it, you're obvious. Did you did you hit this time? You grazed him for 15 damage. That's pretty sweet. Oh yeah! I like it. I like it a lot. Wow, he's like pretty much already dead. That's it's really bad. <laughs> okay. Why is your endurance so low? Look did I not look at his characteristics properly? His stats are so awful. Holy shit. Oh god. Disgusting. Oh my god. That's that's awful. Wow, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's so bad. It's like actually terrible. Oh well. We can attack. You know what? Why don't you try using one of your spells? How about that? Use uh not nature's vigor. Use vile thorns. Or or winter wind. It's gonna freeze our own characters, probably. Than a bat. It missed everybody. It missed literally both of our characters, but it also probably missed the last. You know what? Eh? It's okay. You just no problem. you just need to not be having freaking fourteen might. Why do you have so little might? I don't I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this. Need All right, you know what? Try and use um. That's not good. Try and use uh. It's not good either. Try and use uh. It's not good. Why why are all of these? Wait, what is the? Okay. That's that's terrible attack. Like it's just. Who would ever use that? How about using uh. Purge of toxins? No, all of these seem terrible. Infestation of maggots. Beetle shell. What the heck is this? Use firebrand. No, that's that's not very good. All of these are awful. Use hold beasts. How about how about using hold beasts on one of these beasts? These guys are beasts, right? Hold his ass. I mean, I feel like we're killing them faster than this guy can actually like deal any. Like I'm going out of my way to use Heravius's abilities. Although this elder lion seems pretty strong, why don't you go and attack him? Or after we've already killed him, appear next to our guys. That works too. Yeah. Also, you should probably switch over to a bow. So that you sure. stop making a fool out of yourself, son. So yeah, I was, um, I'm a little bit disappointed. Also, I need that scarab beetle back <laughs> kind of badly. So we're probably going to have to go and back, uh, yeah, go, go back to, uh, probably going to have to go back to, go back to our stronghold and get Sagani's scarab beetle because that scarab beetle is kind of, it helped us out a lot in the previous combat encounters, is all I'm gonna say. Okay, everybody, what kind of attacks are you using? I don't care. Kevin, you're on. Why don't you buff us up? How about that? And you, sir. Do you have buffs? You have healing power of nature. That's not great. You have, what about beetle shell or something like that? You had beetle shell, right? That does stasis shield. I don't know what that means, but... That seems terrible. Why don't you use Burst of Summer Flame? Seems pretty good. Let the lions sort of gather together and then use Burst of Summer Flame on their face. They, hey, you just use the Burst of Summer Flame! I don't know what that did exactly, but hey, it seems like this lion is on fire. There's a lot of lions here. Why don't we have Dingle Bingle use a little bit of uh, freezing people in the face hold and stopping them from attacking. It worked, actually. It, it did. It literally worked. Man, why, why are you so negative for? Sharknado is very nearly dead. We can have her heal up a little bit. By having Kevin Durant heal her a little Need bit. Something? We can have this dude come in here and use a Dinotastic attack. Or something. Or hit the complete wrong guy. Why don't you just turn into a goddamn lion, man? Seems like a better Need plan, something? all things considered. Just, just, yeah, turn into a lion. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing some damage as a lion. Sharknado is very nearly dead, but we should be actually fine. Yeah. Okay. You know what? He's not the best, but he's acceptable. That's my thinking anyways, and I'm going to stick to it. I feel like Sagani had a lot better equipment, so I need to, like, take that from her and equip it on this dude instead. But that's going to be fine. You know, I kind of I kind of prefer to have Sagani, all things considered, but that's fine. 
we'll have this guy with like really low might and intelligence and all that shit. I guess you can't go in here? I guess not, okay. Uh, it's just filled with water. I guess we need to like come back when it's not raining. Probably is my guess because it's raining like crazy in this map right now and there's no way to get past the water. But yeah, we can explore this. There's supposed to be a goddamn cabin here filled with stuff that people stole from the goddamn Whale Lovers Association of the City of America or something. I don't want to go to Deerford Village. I don't want to go to Deerford Village. I don't want to go to Deerford... Like this, there's, there's... And also, I don't know what this is. Also, what is the, this? Could they possibly be here? That's just a rock. Never mind. I guess we're gonna have to go to Deerford Village. It's like, what the heck, man? Yeah, go to Deerford Village. It said it was on the road to Deerford Village. I don't know if that means, like, on the same map, but on the road as well. Or what. Right, I, I'm not sure about that. But it, it doesn't seem like it's here. Maybe it's... That's the Temple of Barath. That's Grieving Mother. That's Winfred's Arms and Armory. Apothecary. Something else. Couriery? Is it make, where you make curry or something? It's an inn. That's a mill. This is not the place, man. What the heck? Parable of Whale. A group of thieves have stolen a scroll from Whale from the Hall of Revealed Mystery in Defiance Bay. High Archivist Grimda wants me to track down the thieves and recover the scroll. Grimda said that one of the thieves mentioned an abandoned farm on the path to Durford. Where is this farm? This is Durford, man. This is totally Durford. Where is the farm? I just traveled all the way here. There's no farm. This is a Stormwell Gorge. Maybe, okay, maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe these are the guys? How long do we gotta stand out here? Why do you have a boar companion? <laughs> Until we find her, so keep your eyes peeled. Do, 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 do. Let's talk to the guy. An elf idles by the road, watching the village across the river. He nods as you approach, as the cowled figure standing near him falls silent. Greetings, friend. A slow smile forms as he eyes you. I heard of you. Word has it you've been busy in Defiance Bay. I'm busy too, and eager to finish my business and get back into the city. What business is that? Haven't you heard there's a murderer on the loose, said to have gone mad with grief and strangled a dozen he healthy children when her own was hollowborn? She nods at the figures with him. We've come all the way from Defiance Bay to bring her to justice. Good, she can't be allowed to go free. He nods across the river. She's hiding out in the village. We'd go in after her ourselves, but the problem is she knows our faces. There's no telling what she'd do if she saw us coming. And we'd like to avoid any further unnecessary bloodshed. Her name's Nefri. She's an Orlan. We want to get her out of town so that we can deal with her cleanly. She knows what we're, we're looking for her, but if someone were to convince her that it's safe to leave... If she's a mass murderer, why didn't the Duke send the Crucible Knights after her? Hmm? The powers that be want to keep things quiet for obvious reasons. Better not to cause a fuss and certainly better not to startle her into doing something drastic. I could draw her out. She won't know you. It'll be simple. I have a few questions. Well, I should get back. Okay. Where is this goddamn farm? It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. There's no farm. This is a temple of Barath. I guess for Baratheons. Um... Yeah. And I guess we'll explore Deerford Village next time because we're here already. Sure. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.